Hello YouTube. Let me tell you about a very interesting motion picture that was made in 1947 in France. It's an example of a surprisingly accurate prediction of the future of the modern world, our world. Um, it was filmed more than 70 years ago. It was a short film directed by the J.K. Raymond Millet and translated I guess as this television a look at tomorrow I won't even try the French name uh, but you will see a link to the YouTube uh, for this film uh, in the description to my channel the duration is only a little over 24 minutes however this short um, a video, I guess, uh, has managed to become one of the most accurate predictions about what the future of mankind will be. Well, see, in the 21st century, we're used to the fact that almost everyone has access to the Internet from any inhabited par point uh, on our planet. To do this, you just need to have a special device in your pocket. However, the foresight of the future, in which people almost constantly look at the screens of their portable devices, on trains, in cafes, on the street, when communicating with friends, and so on, it seems simply amazing. The pocket TVs shown in the film are very similar to our mobile phones, to our cell phones in many ways, and not the least because they are used, among other things, as ordinary phones, okay? As is the case with any insightful prediction that describes the future that actually happened, all this may seem, at first to us, the inhabitants of this real future, quite an ordinary thing. Look, just think, smartphones and televisions and cars, what's the big deal? Until we realize the prediction was made in 1947. But, you know, in those years the world was completely different and the vast majority of the world's population did not even know about the existence of ordinary telephone booths. Just think about it, the filmmakers also predicted professional meetings held with the help of picture phones, cars with TV screens and shops advertising their products on TV. Well, you, in that film, even in the video of that film, you can also see that small portable devices replace newspapers and broadcast news and political programs, fashion shows and sports programs, and televisions placed in travel agencies replace paper catalogs, and even invite potential customers to go to a place of rest, or so to say, or vacation on television. So, I want you to think about that year, 1947. I'm sure you will recall a few other things that took place that year. Very interesting. Um, and uh, not only in the United States, I caution you. So, it's, it's, to me, it's uncanny how they were able to predict the future. So, I hope you enjoy it. And, um, again, if you like my research, please support it through the links you can find in the description to my video. And please subscribe to my channel and tell others and I'll bring you more interesting videos. And um, what, what else can I uh, add about this uh, film that I did not? It's, it's first a documentary about the early days um, of French television. The various techniques of the new medium are explained through the filming of a flamenco show. The second part is an exercise in futurology you know, basing himself on the revolutionary ideas of René Barjavel, uh, Raymond Millet imagines all the ways television might be, might be used in the days to come. And again, he foreshadows the video phone, the cell phone, the internet, electronic surveillance, as well as virtual images. The whole thing is presented in a humorous and unpretentious way. It's not so humorous to us anymore, uh, seeing people walking around with their heads buried in uh, smartphones and um, away from the communication that we had just 20 years ago, I guess, or a little bit more. The world has changed but it's uncanny, again, in my opinion, how they predicted it in 1947. Thank you for your attention.